Hey there, welcome to part two of my favorite new Google Docs features. This is Shana from Hello Teacher Lady, and the first new feature that I'm going to share is the date chip. So this is a smart chip that will allow you to easily insert the date. So you're going to click the at sign and then type in date. And this will give you the option of putting in today's date, tomorrow's date, yesterday's date. So let's say I wanted to put in today's date. There you go. I could also click on this and it gives you some options. Like I could book a meeting, for example, from the smart chip directly. You can also type in the at sign and type in today. And that's going to give you the smart chip as well. You could do the same thing by typing in at sign tomorrow. And that will give you tomorrow's date as well. So a pretty cool new smart chip in Google Docs. The next feature is the page list feature. This is a really cool feature for docs that are multiple pages that have formatting, like let's say a choice board or a hyperdoc, where you don't want the formatting to get interrupted at the page break. So what the page list feature does is basically makes it pageless, right? So uh, we're going to come over here to page setup, and then we're going to click page list. And this is going to eliminate the page breaks, um, basically to allow us to have wide images and tables and consume content without interruption of the page breaks. So click OK, and here you go. So you can see that now I've got the you know top of my choice board here, and I've got all of the responses in the tables, and now none of my responses are interrupted at the page break. So pretty cool. Obviously, if you had a doc that you wanted to print, this wouldn't be the feature that you'd need, but if you you know, just intend on sharing this digitally, then this is a great option. This next feature is the watermark feature. It allows you to add a watermark to the background of your Google Docs. So you're going to click insert and then scroll down to watermark. And you can add an image to the background of your Google Doc as a watermark, or you could add text. So for example purposes, I'm just going to add text. Let's say you're working on a document and it is in draft form and you want to make it very clear that it is in draft form. You could type in draft and it will automatically add that as a watermark to the back of your document. And you could of course type on top of this. It's not like an image that's been inserted or anything like that. It's just a watermark basically in the background. Um, so then you could change the formatting. I could change the font if I wanted to. Um, I could change the transparency and I could do horizontal or diagonal. So there is watermarks in Google Docs. And again, you could add an image to the background as well. And then when you are done, click done. So that is adding a watermark in Google Docs. Okay, next up we have the document summary. So this is in the outline of your Google Doc. So if we click over here on this icon, it says show document outline. And any headings that you add to the document will appear here. So this document, there's not really a lot going on. I don't have any headings, so I'm just going to turn these into headings real quick so that you can see the outline feature if you um, have never used it. It's pretty helpful. So now these are headings. They're showing up in my outline section. Um, so that's that. But you'll notice that up here, there is a summary section. What you can do is basically click the plus sign to add a summary and you can add a document summary here. So I could say like this document will da 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 da. da. So anything that I want to um, use to describe this, I could uh, type that here. Now notice that this text isn't showing up in the actual document itself. It's just the summary of the document. So again, to get here, I just clicked on this little icon, show document outline, and now it shows the summary as well as the actual outline of the document um, using the headers that I've added as a guide. So that is how to add a summary in Google Docs. All right, lastly, we have the email draft feature. This one is really cool if you are someone like me who maybe uh, prefers to draft important emails in a Google Doc before you actually draft them in Gmail. Maybe you are worried that you might accidentally send something in draft form, or maybe it's just easier for you to uh, draft you know, your email in Google Docs first and then copy and paste it over. Either way, what Google has done is created an email template that will automatically export to Google or to Gmail. So what you're going to do is click on insert on the file menu, scroll down to building blocks, and then select email draft. So I'm going to use this one up here that I've already added. Um, I added in my email already. So this is who you want to send it to. You can just type that in. Um, I can give my email a subject. Okay. 
and I can now write my email message. So I'll say like, this is really cool. Okay. And now what I can do is go ahead and click on this uh, Gmail icon right over here. And it's going to automatically carry this over to let me preview it and send it in Gmail. So now you can see the text that I typed in the Google Doc is automatically transferred over here. And I can go ahead and send the email and I am good to go. So that is uh, Gmail templates in Google Docs. Thanks for watching part two of my favorite new Google Docs features. If you haven't had a chance to check out part one yet, I will link that in the video description. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.